take the first step towards online privacy. Get NordVPN. Get the Crypto.com Visa card. You can use this wherever Visa is accepted all over the world. Make sure you use my link to get a $25 bonus when you register. Link in the description below. So uh, thank you everybody who's here. My, I am Crypto Rich and I am hosting this Roadmap talk and live Q&A with the team from Conceal Network. And we have a number of people who've joined us from the Discord channel for Conceal Network and you'll get an opportunity to ask questions should you have any. But otherwise, what we're going to be looking at in this Discord chat, we're going to be discussing the monthly update plus also what lies ahead. And I am with Cryptox, Crypto, CryptoX, Arcanist, and Mr. Quibs. Mr. Quibs, I'm going to turn to you first. Anything you want to say just to get us going? Um, no, well, not really, actually. <laughs> but uh, let's just go um, with the monthly update first and then um, um, the roadmap and then a couple of questions from the people. Sure. Great. Okay. Uh, which one of you wants to go through what's been accomplished in the last month? Um, I think that's like um, we can separately answer any, uh, the questions for each division. Um, so for um, okay, so re regarding the monthly update, yeah. So um, okay, so I have it open now. Uh, for for the marketing part, um, um, there's actually a lot of in 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 development currently. Um, we have um, Cryptator who recently joined our team um, in the marketing department. Uh, he's going to take care of um, uh, managing most of our social medias to, uh, with social media software. He's uh, researching that right now uh, to improve our numbers. Um, I'm working on a couple of videos with a couple of um, YouTubers, that crypto YouTubers, and they will make a video about Consume Network. Uh, those are coming end of April, somewhere there. And um, well, basically, there's yeah, there's there's quite a bit going on for for marketing uh, part. Okay. Um, and maybe I could also speak a bit for the community uh, division because um, I don't think anyone for the community division is here to talk. Well, before, but um, Mr. Lolita Quibbs, has been doing a great job together with Manan for Mr. The, Quibbs, um, hold on a second. Before we move uh, on to that, just a, a little bit about um, what did you say? His crypt. What was his crypt name? Crypt. Yeah, Cryptator. Cryptator. Okay. Yeah. So, so, yeah, so, it's a bit of a strange name. <laughs> Cryptator. I think, yes. Right. So, what is he going to be doing specifically? Because distinct from you because you're the marketing manager right yeah so so um we 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 took uh Crypt, we invited cryptator to the mar uh, to the marketing uh team because he has he's a very uh, very creative guy he has many great insights he's a very good analyzer um he has also written a couple of um a couple of documents about what we can improve on the marketing on the marketing side of consume network um he's also the writer of the prosperity manual um, yeah, I think he's just a great asset and of value to our marketing uh, team because he is so good at analyzing, and that's where uh, where he is of great value to us. And he he came up through the Conceal Network community. Yeah, so um, just like any of us, he uh, started as a community member, and uh, he started helping out. You know, being around every day, having a chat with us, giving us tips, um, just like a lot of community members do. And um, yeah, eventually, eventually, I asked him to to uh, come work with us. Fabulous, fabulous, okay. Well, is it okay if I ask if anybody's got any questions regarding the marketing? Anybody in the yeah, audience? Yeah, please do. Um, where's the chat? <laughs> uh, I think they can uh, type, I don't know, into maybe crypto talk or general, if they have any questions. People can request to speak, and uh, at the yeah. moment there are no requests. Okay, yeah, I think but that is from more the voice, yeah. and I think people may, might not be comfortable with asking their question live with their voice. I mean, it's it's um, it's a possibility, of course. So if yeah, anyone wants to, find, to find, find, they can also always type into general or crypto talk. I think. Yeah, let's 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 use general. Yeah, let's do general. And Fabio is here also. Welcome. Yes, I'm in. Join us. Great. Great. Okay. So if anybody has any questions, if you type it in quickly, um, if, otherwise we'll move on to the next topic because you were going to talk about community. Do you want to move on to that? Yeah. So, um, of course, community and marketing overlaps uh, on, on some fronts. So that's why I thought I would uh, also talk for them. Um, we reached our uh, one millionth block this, this week. Uh, which uh, of course came uh, with a celebration. So 
the community division uh, made sure that there was a big drop party <laughs> with CCX. And uh, I think she's also working on a trivia. So there's going to be a couple of events in celebration of that. And also the community uh, division has been working on uh, improving the ambassador program, of course. Uh, that's been going really well. Uh, lots of um, improvements on from their side, uh, from the ambassadors, by the way. Maybe we could also go over that in a minute. Mm -hmm. Um, and uh, there's um, competitions coming up on the Twitter, uh, like artwork contests again and other stuff, uh, which is also uh, due to their work. So they're doing a great job. Right. Okay. And for the events and the competition and other announcements, there's the Discord announcements channel and also Conceal Network's Twitter feed. And I'll have all the links in the description below. Okay. Anything else you want to let us know, Mr. K? No, no, that's it, man, for now. <laughs> All right. Who would like to go next in terms of um, covering what's been accomplished in the last month? Uh, let me see. Uh, for the disclaimer, I'm totally unprepared because I didn't have any time to prepare. So. <laughs> well, why don't, listen, why didn't I ask a specific question? One of the things that I personally okay. am interested in, given my relationship with the BPSAA, is this new partnership with Handshake. So who wants to tell us about that? How did that come about? What are you going to be doing together? And what can we look forward to? I think Target is more uh, connected with the tech side, so it will be better for him to give his comments. Yeah, so one good thing about the BPSA uh, is that we are all, a lot of projects are now already included uh, and working together. So this opens a lot of doors for cooperation and similar stuff. Uh, so yeah, we decided to to buy a concealed domain uh, from Handshake. Um, so that part is done. We are now uh, in the process of setting up the the bot domain on their uh, on their nodes. And uh, basically, I uh, I have a scheduled uh, meeting with uh, Johnny Wu uh, from Handshake, uh, who will help me set up the domain for Conceal. So for now, we are in, at this stage, basically, setting up the domain, and uh, this will be a first step in the partnership with the Handshake. As for the future uh, activities, I cannot say anything about that now, because uh, from the standpoint of uh, development division, we haven't talked about anything else uh, for now. Okay. Well, just on Handshake, for anybody who's listening to this or watching this, because this will be on my channels, who's not familiar, do you want to say what it is that Handshake provides? So, yeah, so basically Handshake provides um, uh, decentralized domain services uh, directly uh, on their nodes that run on their chain. Uh, so, as we know, uh, many things in this world, um, well, not all, but many things um, could be a lot better, a lot better decentralized than they are now. So this goes for domains also. Um, it's not such. It's not so much of a problem uh, that like domain services uh, are not decentralized in the sense of running on servers because the DNS has decentralized in the name as as it is. But the problem is not that uh, today. If one domain server goes down, there is usually uh, secondary and uh, tertiary. I don't know what else. I mean, there's always backups. So. It's not like if one server goes down, the whole uh, web will stop working. Of course, there are problems occasionally, but this is not the main reason. The main reason is that there are uh, companies and individuals that have too big of an influence uh, over the domain names. That's the main issue. And um, what Handshake is uh, trying to achieve here, I think, is that um, because blockchain is basically a public network um, of peer nodes, and everything on the blockchain is supposed to be immutable in most blockchains. It is immutable and uh, provable. Pro uh, the content is proven uh, by the hash, uh, so it cannot be changed. And this is one of the main uh, advantages I see uh, that uh, Handshake is offering. It's basically like a few things uh, are really meant to be decentralized over the blockchain, like money, uh, for instance, domain services, uh, uh, identity uh, identity um, uh, proof or identity information and stuff like that. Not everything, but these these are, in my opinion, examples that uh, benefit from decentralization and from public ledgers. Yes, Nategas, thank you. Because 
what Handshake does is it takes away the monopoly power of large corporations that influence who gets to own a domain name and also adds a layer of censorship resistance to conceal networks' presence on the internet. Exactly. Uh, maybe I will just add here a, a quick example of uh, what, because people don't really understand how important decentralization is, or basically how important uh, it is that uh, data and services we are using are permissionless. So uh, I have a friend who uh, had an account uh, uh, over at, uh, I think that it was Skype, if I'm not mistaken. He had a Skype account at Microsoft, and Microsoft with their account, I think, is offering also um, uh, some um, cloud storage. Uh, and this cloud storage is encrypted and all, all good and fine. But what happened to this guy was that at one point, uh, he just got an email that fraudulent activity was detected uh, on his account, which, is, which was complete nonsense, of course. But he got this ma uh, mail, and basically all his services on his Microsoft account were, uh, were locked until he's, he has proven his innocence. And what this basically meant is that he didn't have access to his uh, online cloud data that he, has, he had encrypted over at Microsoft storage services. So this shows how absurd the situation these days is because people totally trust everything. Uh, they trust Google, they trust Apple. But in reality, what can happen is that today you have everything working and tomorrow it's all gone because somebody decided that you cannot access it anymore. Yeah. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. And we yeah. know that all too often, like how uh, Twitter, YouTube, and the other big tech companies have deplatformed, censored, sidelined people who do not follow the mainstream narrative. Thank you, Tegas. And if people want to find out more about Handshake, we'll go check out their website. You can link to it through the BPSAA website, which is bpsaa.vision. And there also you can explore um, Conceal Network, but you probably know all about that. I've just seen that Cryptator has joined us. Hey, Cryptator, welcome. Uh, we were talking about your role as uh, being responsible for social media. Anything you want to add? Well, you, not that you were here earlier, but anything you want to say just to introduce yourself? We need to give, you need to ask or be given speaking Cryptator, rights. Cryptator just messaged me that he's uh, dr currently driving in the car. Oh. So that's why he's in the audience. But uh, maybe he can type something in general after he's done driving. I don't know. <laughs> All right. He's not here. No worries. No worries. Okay. All right. Thank you. Um, let me see. So that's about handshake. Does anybody have any questions about that post, that question in general? If you want to let me know, Mr. Cripps, because if I change screens, then... Yeah, we are following the chat, so if someone, something comes up, we'll let you know. Great. We want some interaction, guys. Give us the questions. Now's the time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think it's our first uh, live stage. With the yeah, it's our first ever live um, that, we, that we've been live, actually. So it's actually pretty special. Yes. Yeah, I think I think people will uh, will um, get some more courage later, or maybe on the next one. So don't be afraid yeah. to ask anything if you want. Now Please. it's a per perfect time to 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 ask any anything uh, you want to know. Exactly. And uh, just to let you know, no need to change to general because, uh, um, or may or maybe yes, if, if someone texts, because in terms of requests to speak, I'm monitoring. Have, Great. Um, a, a window next to me. Uh, to monitoring any requests. Yes, thank you, thank you, CryptoX. We'll be over it. And for those of you who have joined late, we hope to do these on a regular basis, you know, once a month. And I imagine over time they will build and build, especially as this project goes from strength to strength. Okay, so that's that on Handshake. There are some updates in terms of development that have happened, not major ones. Anything um, anybody wants to say about that? Would that be you, CryptoX, or, or Canist? Uh, I can do an uh, introdu introduction to it, and then Tegos can go deeper in uh, in details. But it, it, it's been quite active, like any other moth. So we have quite a lot of improvements in in the core, in Conceal Core, um, our peer-to-peer -peer decentralized uh, software that runs all the protocol and all the, the blockchain. Uh, we did a massive, massive work updating all dependencies, all libraries we use from uh, from uh, other creators. Uh, we fixed an, an issue that caused, uh, caused crashes as well, a bug that we have found. We made several improvements on the desktop 
Uh, we are really close to publish a new release, and uh, I hope you guys enjoy. We we speed the, the caching and uh, the the scanning of the of the chain, and um, there are other surprises on it as well. Um, the work continues on our uh, future client side web wallet. Uh, so we aim for decentralization and censorship uh, resistance. So we we are working on something. Is 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 we are making it public for the first time, but we have been so criticized the way our cloud works. But beside all the improvements, last improvements we did on the cloud, like now you don't need an email to create an account or to access your uh, your funds. You can just use a username. Beside that, we are uh, we did from ground up a new serverless wallet that uses uh, remote nodes, and we have already the basic features of. Of, of needed to operate any fund, funds on the chain, like sending, checking balance, is retroactive. It means it can import any wallet, uh, wallets generated from the cloud, from desktop, from uh, the command line interface, whatever. So I think going to be a great advance. And it's something that can run even directly from GitHub. So you don't even need a place to host it. So you can even run it from your own computer. So I think it's going to be one of the biggest steps in terms of uh, light wallets, of um, a tool that will able, will able you to access and interact with the chain without being dependent from any any server, any hosting service. So we are putting a lot of effort and, and 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 passion on it as well uh, to make it happen and I, I believe very soon we're gonna have news for you um, beside that we keep working on our partnership with ergo uh, tending okay uh, before before we before we move on to yes. ergo excuse sure. me for interrupting you I'll come to that in a second so so yeah. I'm, I'm not technical so I'm trying to get my head around this but what I do understand that as a out of doing these changes these improvements that you that you've talked about, you're actually reinforcing and increasing the decentralized nature of the concealed network blockchain, and also like how it operates with the wallet wallets and the nodes, and also the transactions are going to happen faster and smoother. Is is that correct? Uh, no. uh, uh, you are in part correct, but the transactions will not be uh, faster. What's going to be faster is uh, uh, regarding the desktop. We did some changes in the, our command line interface that uh, loads the chain much quicker than before. So we are porting those changes in the code to the desktop. So the desktop is going to be as fast as our current command line interface. So going to load the chain. Imagine if, if you are starting from scratch loading the chain, uh, it used to take at least 24 hours, the, attending the nature of the uh, the blockchain, the peer-to-peer -peer network. We are as fast as our uh, slowest device on the network, and it depends on the bandwidth you have and the, the, your processing power to validate uh, all the ashes and go on. So that process is going to be much quicker. We believe like in less than two hours, even in a whole computer, like... Uh, in a, in a very modest device, you're going to be able, like, in around two hours, like, right. to have all the chain in your local storage. So that's, like, more than 12 times what is taking now. It's going to be 10 to 12 times faster than is currently doing it. Uh, so to be clear, if, if you have any questions you would like to, to ask, feel free. Uh, and I extend this invitation to the to our audience as well. Yes, no, thank you for and, that. And and we need to uh, we need to give props to uh, Ive. This is a developer uh, from Carbo uh, that helped us with uh, these speed improvements. So we are not yeah. uh, we are not a project that would take uh, like credits where. Uh, where where do we don't deserve no, not don't deserve them, but we 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 uh, credit people for their work. So this was uh, this was a work from Ive, 
and he's a great guy and uh, he will keep helping conceal in the future with uh, various improvements yeah so. he's been helping us since the beginning yeah. uh, to be yeah. honest uh, it's been like a really uh, really nice contributor all, all these years for four years at least yeah and we, we really we really appreciate and uh, as 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 everybody should know uh, everyone can anyone can participate conceal is open to to all, all, and um, and we are really happy to uh, to embrace these people and new developers uh, to to join us in in our cause for decentralization, censorship resistance, and privacy protection. That's fabulous. Thank and, you. And uh, if you guys don't mind, uh, uh, it's still related to development. So the update I'm doing a quick update. So uh, our work continues on the implementation of RAP CCX over Ergo. So we need to admit uh, that uh, we we didn't know much about Ergo uh, before uh, the community proposed. So we needed to update or learn about it in the last months, and. Uh, and we are working on it very soon. We got, we're going to have a wrap version of uh, CCX running on Ergo. And the bridge is going to take some time. Attending, we are uh, talking about uh, quite different technologies, but we are working on it. And we have an update as well. So our community push uh, makes some pressure to have a wrap CCX over Avalanche. So we are really, really, really close to launch uh, wrap CCX over Avalanche as well. And uh, regarding that part, in the, um, regarding the bridge, going to be a little bit easier because, because we are talking about a, a EVM. Uh, so we are quite familiar with kind of uh, ecosystem already that uh, due to the work we have been doing with uh, Polygon, uh, Binance Smart Chain, and even on Ethereum. Uh, so going to be something that we can deploy quicker. And... Um, uh, as as everybody should know, like uh, we 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 stick to to our, I will not say promises. We we stick to our roadmap and our compromise with the com community. So we are actively actively working on the. I, I will not like to call it colored coins. Because okay, colored coins X, hold on a second. Gonna... Hold on a second, please. Uh, forgive yeah. me for interrupting you, but I want to give people an opportunity to ask any questions, plus a few points I want to make just to reiterate. So one is, um, so you're working on wrapping CCX so it can run on Ergo. And Ergo, yes. uh, for people who don't know, Ergo platform is also a member of the Blockchain Privacy Security and Adoption Alliance, BPSAA.vision. Now, will that mean that given Ergo's close ties to Cardano, that CC, once wrapped, CCX will be able to run on Cardano DEXs? Yeah, the, theoretically speaking, yes. Oh, wow. Uh, it, will be, it will be a door open on, on, that, on that pathway. But uh, it only depends, uh, it will only depend on uh, how things are going to flow in our next consensus. For now, what, what has been approved by our community, as, as you know, we are a community driven. Um, uh, project and uh, and uh, I believe uh, only depends about how things gonna gonna go. And for now, our commitment is to have a uh, wrap CCX over Ergo platform as soon as possible, and then we will see. But it, yes, answering your question is it's a possibility in the future. Great, thank you, thank you. And then of course you said Avalanche and. Ethereum, Binance Smart Chain, very good. Now, does anybody have any questions? Anybody in the audience, you can tap, make a request in general, either tap it out, and then if you want to speak, we can give you permission to speak, and this will uh, go out on my channel on Odyssey, and then also on YouTube, but come and subscribe and follow me on Odyssey. Okay. Um, yeah, I would, uh, maybe if uh, we have some time still, I would just like to add a few things more about development. Um, if I may, uh, I, I would like just to do an introduction uh, before we sure we 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 develop extend the, the the development part. If you allow me, is to uh, to inform our audience that uh, we we initiated the research. Uh, I don't like uh, personally. I don't like to call it colored coins because uh, the first thing people are gonna do is to associate associate. To Bitcoin or to other kinds of uh, 
uh, technological models. So I want to keep things clear. So uh, I will use the term we, we adopted internally in our community, and we are talking about privacy protected assets. So uh, we finished the research and we're going to start works in the next weeks. It's, it's a long, a long, long uh, job that will require quite a lot of resources. But just to let the community know that is something uh, officially we can say we are working on it. We, we just start working on it. And um, with this topic, I, I, I close the introduction to development. And I believe Pegus can uh, take it from here. Yeah. Any technical detail or if or any question is the right person as head of development, research and development, is the right person to, to answer uh, anyone. Sure. I, I have a before. question. Because I know there are people here from the Conceal Network that will be familiar with, possibly familiar with the notion of a colored coin. But we also want to reach out to people like myself and those that are new to Conceal Network, what is a colored coin? Okay, so basically, uh, for now, we have uh, only one, maybe how would I put it? I don't know if I would put it asset, but let's put it asset because uh, we will be talking about private assets. So basically, we have one main asset on our chain, and this is CCX. Uh, CCX as a fungible uh fungible token or fungible coin and that means you cannot you cannot distinguish between uh one uh one uh ccx or the other ccx uh, what is more uh, every ccx is divisible this means that you can divide it to, to smaller parts and you can do that up to six digits for instance uh, uh bitcoin has eight digits so one satoshi is basically uh one uh ten uh, on minus eight uh, of one Bitcoin is one Satoshi. So we have six, six digits. Now, if you want assets, th what this means? This means that you basically introduced, this is why the term colored coins come, uh, comes into play, I think. Uh, I'm not sure what, uh, if this is the correct um, distinction, but uh, let's assume it is. So basically, uh, you introduce uh, ability for users of the network for a certain fee to create uh, additional assets on the chain. So you have now CCX, that is the main asset on the Conceal Network chain, and then you start having this additional asset. And each of these assets has its own color, so to speak. Why color? Because you need to differentiate uh, them uh, from one another. So they cannot mix with each other. You can, you can imagine this like sandboxes. So basically, each coin has its own sandbox, and for instance, if you create like one million uh, of these uh, new coins, new assets, then you have this one million, but they cannot mix with the main conceal coins. So they are totally separate. Uh, on the other hand, you can specify, this is, that is the idea we are running behind. So you will be able to specify um, uh, how many decimal places uh, this new coin will have. So how much you will be able to divide it to how small parts. So it, it, you, you can either... Uh, say that it's not divisible at all. So you have just one coin or two coins or three coins, but you cannot have, you cannot have for instance, 1.5 coins. Or you can you can divide it up to six decimals like CCX. And, on, and also you can say how many there will be uh, when you create this asset. So you can say there will be 1 million of these coins or there will be 10 million or, and so on, if you understand what I mean. Uh, now, important part of, of this is that all these uh, additional assets are also protected by the same proof of work uh, um, proof of work as the main asset. So this is one important uh, factor. And another is that um, uh, now I lost my mind, what I was going to say. Another will be the same level of privacy. Yeah, and exactly. Privacy. Thank you. Yeah, same level of privacy. So basically, uh, transactions of these assets will have the same level of privacy as the main CCX. Uh, you can you can basically you can basically um, you can basically uh, compare them almost one to one. It's not one to one, but they're really similar in, in nature. You you will be able to transact with one another. You will be able to I don't know basically everything that you do with CCX. You will be able to do with these assets, and all you will have to do is pay a certain fee, and then you are an owner of I don't know like twenty million tokens that you name. I don't know. You can name them whatever you want. So each of these tokens have a specific ID on the network, 
and once a name and an ID is taken, no other asset can have the same name. So the names are unique. And what this allows you is a lot of things. You can have, for instance, uh, then you can have stable coins. Uh, you can have coins for rewarding people. So you can create an asset then the, then that you then use, for instance, for rewards in games, uh, contest, uh, co you, you can run contests, you can run everything that you imagine. Uh, then you can, for instance, use them for uh, tipping on social media platforms, I don't know. Uh, you can use these assets for proofs of, um, of some ownership because this, all these assets that you create will also be able to have some kind of metadata. So you will be able to add additional data to your assets that you will be then able to use uh, over time to distinguish an asset from another or, or to add some specific data to them. Also, one important thing is that we are planning for these assets to be immutable. Uh, uh, so exactly like CCX, even the metadata will be immutable. This, what this means, what is immutability? This is one very important uh, thing in uh, blockchain. So when one transaction or one block is, when one block is created and it contains like, I don't know, two, three, four, five, ten transactions, this block is then immutable. What it means, once it's included in the blockchain, it cannot be changed ever. So if you want to change something, you need to create another transaction and by that you create another block. But this block that is what's included is, it cannot ever be changed again. So this ensures that once you send money to someone, it's a done deal. You cannot reverse that. Um, I think that this is basically a good overview of what uh, our private private assets will be. Uh, but if anybody has any additional questions, uh, let us know. Now, uh, just a disclaimer. Uh, I was talking about what is currently planned for our assets, uh, which does not mean that some things could not change in the future when we are implementing this. This is still uh, a draft. It is still on the paper for now. Uh, I would say that uh, research and development has just started, but as uh, Zero X said, uh, it will take quite a lot of time because it's uh, quite a complicated task and it needs to be properly tested, properly developed. So there is no definitive timeline when it will be ready. Uh, on the roadmap, the items that we have on the roadmap map are supposed Tegas, to be Tegas, accurate. Tegas, yeah. hold on a second, please. Um, does it, I just want to check in. Does anybody have any questions about the coloured coin yeah, sure, sure. before we move on to the next topic? Okay, no problem. Thank you, Tagus. Uh, actually, I just actually, what am I not saying? Here's what I'm not saying. Bloody hell! I'm <laughs> just thinking. You guys have been developing this project on the quiet for years and 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 years, and years building and building and building and developing this incredibly smart, feature-rich, decentralized cryptocurrency ecosystem i mean conceal network is more than just a private means of exchange in the way that monero or pirate chain are I mean, and those are great projects and people should know i'm part of the pirate chain crew which is also a member of the bpsaa so just a shout out to you tagus and the rest of the team and also the community for what you're creating here thank you Tegas. yes uh, yes i mean um the cryptocurrency is evolving very fast so basically there's a lot of uh, challenges constantly ahead of projects. And when Bitcoin started, it started just as a sound, uh, interchangeable, decentralized money. Uh, and uh, these days, uh, basically, you need, you need to offer something more to be interesting. And on the one hand, you need to, you need to be sure, uh, to, you need to make sure that you are offering something, something more. But on the other hand, at least in my opinion, you need to make sure also that your chain and code does not become too complicated. For instance, I will just say Ethereum, for instance, in my humble opinion, is right now way too complicated. And mm. this leads to, as you all know, this leads to constant uh, delays in their development and it leads to constant uh, issues and bugs. And this will just continue because they over-engineered, I think, the whole thing. So it's way too complicated to be manageable in the long run. Uh, so what we are trying to do is take a middle road, uh, offer uh, offer some things uh, that are in addition to, to just being a, a, a sound decentralized money, and uh, but still be a manageable project 
project, especially because we do not have like 300 full-time paid developers. And I think we are doing that very well. For instance, I will just uh, uh, throw our deposits over the uh, uh, over the time locked cash contracts we have. So our deposits are are just a I don't know. It was not me who was making them, but so I can say that they're just a, a work of beauty, really. Uh, they're 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 very simple, but very powerful. And on top of that, completely 100% decentralized and permissionless. So that's basically the kind of uh, features we are aiming to develop. And if I uh, go on from here, uh, this is also why we are now working on a uh, uh, completely client-side web wallet. Because as um, ZeroX uh, mentioned, we got a lot of criticism for our cloud. Uh, there were, I would say, two main issues with the cloud. One was that uh, we kept having downtimes. Uh, and the other was that uh, while we were having down downtimes, people could not um, access their funds unless they exported keys. And because people usually take the easiest route, <laughs> they uh, a lot of them did not um, export the private keys and then, then they could not import uh, their wallets to the desktop wallet, for instance. Now, regarding these downtimes, uh, it's very important to know that it was basically not our fault, I mean, not our fault. It was not like we, we neglected the code or something. It was basically the architecture of CryptoNode and the, the wallet we were using, and we didn't have any other wallet to work with. The wallet is, was never meant for a scale uh, that we were using it for. Uh, for instance, all exchanges use the wallet in a simple way. They have one wallet, and then they have payment IDs, and basically all the money uh, is in one wallet, so basically, you have one private key that has access to all the funds uh, for that project. And then uh, with uh, payment IDs, you distinguish uh, who has funds, who has how much funds uh, in that wallet. And this is, of course, problematic for many, many reasons. You can't even uh, export your keys. So if the exchange uh, goes down, you cannot access your funds. So we took another approach. Uh, we basically used uh, the our wallet, our uh, Demon wallet. This is the server, the headless server wallet, and we basically had sub addresses. So we basically had one wallet container, and then we had um, one address per person. So this means that every person had has uh, had its own set of keys that they could export, and in case our wallet went down, uh, they could simply import this, that keys to the desktop and access their funds without any problem. This is very very important because uh, we do not hold the keys uh, of the people, uh, people's money. So people are responsible for their own keys. But what this, uh, on the other hand, meant was that the wallet was having such a huge load because it was not designed for like 3,000, 4,000 uh, addresses in one container. Uh, and this meant that we had constant issues uh, with uh, outside attacks, with uh, uh, when something went wrong and we, we needed to rescan uh, our wallet. It took uh, more than 24 hours for the rescan to be done, and all this was causing a lot of negativity from users, of course. So we decided, uh, we, first we, we decided we will improve the technology, then after spending quite some time on it, we decided that it's not worth it, that it, will, it would take like enormous amount of time and, um, and uh, dedication to even improve it to some degree, and it would still not probably work properly, because blockchain was not meant for from the, for this, you know, for like, it's not a, an efficient database. And in the end, we decided to go the opposite way and also to be completely decentralized and have a completely client-side wallet. What this means is that there will be basically no servers. The only server you have in this scenario is the server that serves you the uh, front end. This is, this is all the, there is. That once the front end is served to your browser, everything runs in your browser. So your keys, uh, all the transactions do you, that you do, everything stays on your computer. It does not go outside of your computer. And we are very close to releasing the uh, initial version, which will not have uh, deposits and messages, but it will have um, everything else. So you, you, you will be able to receive funds, uh, send funds, and everything, everything else you can do with wallets on the Conceal Network. Well, I will stop here now if anybody has any questions or if uh, you, Crypto Rich, want to add something or ask no, anything. Thank you very much. Let me just check in. Does anybody have any questions about this or anything else that we've covered so far?
Okay, thank you. Moving on. What is there anything else that's on the roadmap that we've not talked about? Yeah, I I think there is. Let me just uh, shortly uh, there, there, the there, are, yes. there, there are much more things on our roadmap, but they are in the long term, very long term. Yeah, I, because... yeah, I, won't, I won't talk. Yeah, I won't talk about the long long term because yeah. um, I don't think it's 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 smart to to talk about that now because it will just take too much time and. Uh, it won't be done for 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 a few years anyway. Yes. So yes, uh, maybe maybe uh, let me just scroll down to where we are now. Okay. So another thing that's in the works, uh, bridges were already discussed. Uh, then uh, yeah, the, the, then then this conceal app, but most people already know about that because we already talked about that multiple times. So conceal app is uh, being developed uh, further. Uh, the the version, I mean, the product is already live. Uh, but we are now, as promised, bringing um, new features into it. Uh, I think that right now, Throne Lemon is working on adding the bridges, if I'm not mistaken. And after this, uh, the new release will be out uh, with the bridges. And then the next step will be integrating the Conceal Live. Now, this step will be probably the hardest uh, because Conceal Live uh, is quite a complicated piece of software. And uh, bringing it completely um, into the into the conceal app will probably take quite some time. So this is basically the short term. I think this covers it. Then long term, um, this privacy protected stablecoin that is mentioned um, later on. Uh, I would just like to uh, add that it's tied to privacy protected assets that I was talking about earlier, uh, because we need assets to be able to to have a completely decentralized and privacy protected stablecoin on our chain. That would be also a huge step forward. Oh, and one very important thing, then I think I have covered it all. Um, concerning the bridges, there were quite a lot of uh, discussion around bridges uh, in our um, Discord. And at times I was getting quite annoyed because some users were thinking that just having a bridge to some network will like instantly pump our price which I must uh, disappoint those guys. This is not how it works. Um, a bridge is important. It allows uh, you to move your uh, conceal to other chains and then participate in those chains. And it, what is also more important, it allows uh, people from other chains to uh, exchange their tokens to conceal uh, via uh, our uh, wrapped tokens and enter the complete private uh, complete privacy of conceal. This means that if they do this, they can just go from, I don't know, Ethereum to conceal and back from Ethereum to, uh, from, uh, uh, conceal to Ethereum and they basically uh, cut all traces um, for, for, for their transactions, especially if they, of course, uh, change addresses in the meantime. Uh, but what is also important, we want to, um, we want to expand uh, our services and our products also on the smart chain side, uh, on the smart contract chain uh, side. Uh, what we would like to do is add some uh, value directly to our wrapped tokens. Uh, but to do this, we would need uh, Solidity developers. So um, I'm going to, to say this here because people are listening. Uh, if anybody is interested in cooperating uh, with us uh, and with uh, helping us develop Conceal further, uh, we would love to have uh, somebody with knowledge and vision, uh, with knowledge uh, of uh, Solidity and smart contracts and with vision on what to do and how to bring value to our rep tokens. So if anybody is uh, interested, uh, he, she can contact me or anybody else from the team. Great. Thank and they, you. they can reach out to you via the Discord channel is probably the best way. Yeah, I, I, just maybe yeah, to add that, if you're reaching to me, please do that. Uh, do so on Discord. Um, uh, I'm quite, uh, I'm not using a lot of social media channels uh, and uh, I often uh, miss uh, people on Telegram. So if you are, if you want to be sure that I respond, please do that on Discord. Great. And I just want to make a point about what you said and then also ask a question. Tigus. So, so Pirate Chain R did get wrapped onto the Binance Smart Chain. So it's available on the Binance Smart Chain and it made no difference to the price. Like it didn't pump up. But what it did do and what cons wrapping concealed network will allow 
is participation in DeFi. So you have private DeFi, which is something that you, you talked about, Tigus. So that's really something else. Now, the question that I have is about bridges. My understanding about bridges is they're not really decentralized, that there's a counterparty risk because you go through some sort of a scrow service. Yep. Yeah, yeah. No, basically they're custodial. Uh, I, I don't know about uh, uh, the pirate bridge, but I assume, now this is, uh, this is just me assuming, because I don't know, but I assume that it's similar to ours. So basically, with the technology we have on Conceal, uh, let me just put it bluntly, it's impossible to do a decentralized bridge at this point. Right. We, we can go to some length uh, on how decentralized you really can make it you can make it a little bit more decentralized but you can you then complicate things tremendously and with all these complications and over engineering you open the doors to bugs and exploit them so basically what we did is uh, yes we have a custodial bridge uh, we are the custodians what this means this means that on one side we have a wallet with uh, a certain amount of ccx inside and on the other side, we have a wallet with certain amount of uh, uh, wrapped CCX inside. This goes for every chain then. And then we have a bridge that's basically a mediator between those two chains. So what bridge does is um, it uh, gives out address, for instance, address, a CCX address with payment ID uh, to a user. The user then deposits uh, the amount he wishes, like let's say 1,000 CCX to this uh, address with the, the uh, payment ID that he was provided. And this goes to our custodial wallet. And on the other side, uh, he gets, uh, then when this is confirmed, he gets on the other side the same amount of wrapped tokens, again, from our wallet. And in the other direction, it goes the same way. Now, what this means, of course, yeah, the, the bridge is custodial, this means uh, we have the ownership of these two wallets. Now, of course, um, uh, this does not mean that we hold any users' tokens. Users' tokens stay with users because in the moment the user swaps, uh, he gets the, the tokens on the other side. So it's not like they entrust us with their money. But uh, <laughs> people need to trust us with uh, these reserves that we keep. So we like have, I don't know, if you have... 300,000 wrapped concealed tokens on the Binance smart chain. Uh, we need to have 300,000 CCX as counterpart because the assets are one to one on the concealed network chain. And there's just no way around it. Now, we did some uh, risk meditation uh, so that um, we only hold as much wrapped tokens and as much concealed in these wallets as it's really needed uh, for uh, liquidity. So, for instance, we did not create 200 million uh, wrapped tokens and store them in the wallet and say, okay, bridge, access this. Because if somebody then exploited it, they would have access to 200 million wrapped CCX that they could dump on the market. I mean, this would be obviously a catastrophe. So we minimize the risk to a degree. But, of course, there is, the risk is always there. It's, uh, people saw there is uh, there are countless uh, exploits going around. Uh, so far, our bridge uh, is working fine. Uh, we didn't identify any issues with it, uh, which of course does not mean that in the future something could, can always happen. I don't know. We are we are trying to be as uh, diligent as we can, uh, thinking of every scenario possible. But there is always a risk. So, and there is another. Uh, there is another uh, prop to, to having a custodial bridge. So if something goes wrong, uh, for instance, if there is some LPC error on the smart chain side or something, or uh, I don't know, uh, the bridge uh, has some kind of error and uh, the user did not receive the tokens on the other side, they just write a ticket to our ticketing system, to our help desk, and we investigate and we... Uh, we then send uh, manually the, the tokens to the user or the CCX to the user. So, so far, nobody has lost even a single CCX or single wrapped CCX on our bridge. This is, this is the good side of, 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 of being a custodial type of, of service. Uh, now, of course, uh, the bottom line, we would love to have decentralized bridge. I mean, this is something I would really, really like to see. But for now, it's not possible. If in the future, there is a possibility to do that. I mean, we will grab that with both hands and re redesign it as soon as possible. 
I'm so sure, I'm sure you will. One thing I promise, yeah. Yeah, Tigas, thank you. Crypt CryptoX, I know you need to leave soon. And uh, is there anything you want to say, or does anybody want to ask a question specifically to CryptoX? Uh, I would like to thank you for being with us and uh, having the time and the ability to be here with us. We, we love like speaking and doing, doing this with you. And uh, thank you very much for this opportunity. I would like to thank uh, all audience for being with us. And um, if you have any questions, be my guest. Thank you. Okay, well, let me just check because we're about to finish up soon. Is there anything anybody wants to ask of the project that's relevant to the project before we finish up? Okay, no problem. Well, crypto X. Okay, before we finish up, yes. Um, I have one more cool thing that popped up spontaneously, actually. Uh -huh. um, we have our ambassadors, of course, uh, from the ambassador uh, program. Um, there's a couple of guys from the ambassador program also listening right now. And um, Rage is his name. He uh, would like to speak a little bit about why he became an ambassador and uh, his recent developments as an ambassador. Fabulous. Thank you, Rage. Welcome. Okay, can someone move him to the um, speak? Uh, yeah, I'm I'm with him, I think. think I can. Think oh, yeah, there he is. Yep. Hello. Hi. Hey, man. Rage, how are you Hello. doing? Welcome. Hello. Good. Thank you guys for having me. So, Rage, tell us, uh, you're an yep. ambassador. Why did you become an ambassador? What do you want to say about it? Uh, well, basically, like, uh, I wanted to spread the word uh, about Conceal because, uh, like, uh, to be honest, I was, like, looking for a project uh, to see. I, was, uh, I wasn't very into crypto, but then I found uh, Conceal, and I was like, whoa, like, this is it. And I started diving uh, more, like, deep down the rabbit hole, you know? So, and, uh, yeah, I just wanted to spread the word about it. And uh, we're doing a lot of... Uh, progress here locally like i i had a mobile shop now uh, like he's, he sells cell phones uh, cell phone accessories etc all that stuff uh, he's opening up a con he opened up actually a concealed wallet and he's uh, we're working on payments on how to purchase everything in uh, ccx in conceal at the moment great and what yeah. was it about conceal network that that you just love so much just in a few sentences basically the community is insane and the fact that is it is like fully community driven it's, it's like that made me fall in love before i even knew anything about its uh, like uh, infrastructure if you want you know mm -hmm. then i started reading more about the project and it is like the foundations are solid it's insane it's amazing yes yes no thank you thank you for uh, the insane community that you all are <laughs> <laughs> and rage thank you so much for uh, becoming an ambassador to spread the word yeah, okay is there that. anything for anybody else on the team no. Okay. Well, listen, thank you all so very, very much. Thank you for those of you who are in the audience watching and listening. Really, really appreciate it. We will be doing this again in a month's time. And I particularly want to thank uh, the CCX team and Mr. Quiz because this is the first time I've done anything like this. And I look forward to doing it again. I'm sure we'll get better and better. And as this project builds and builds, we'll get more and more people involved. And, uh, you know, I'll have all the links in the description below. You can find this will be on Odyssey and also on YouTube, but please do come and follow me on Odyssey. Yeah. Oh, somebody else has popped up. Yeah, 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 yeah. Somebody else wants to say something, so let's let's hear it. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> Sorry, my name is Chris, and I'm uh, also one of the ambassadors, and I had the chance to go to Ottawa for the convoy protest in Ottawa before oh. any of the Bitcoin uh, that was being donated was frozen. And I was actually warning people that that was a possibility, that that could happen. So I had a pretty positive response from people there because a lot of people who were there were into the crypto space already and they were really interested in the privacy space. And after that happened, it's been a lot easier to, uh, I guess, sell people on the privacy idea because they've realized now that there's vulnerabilities with like the transparent blockchain. So uh, I've been attending lots of the protests on behalf of Conceal and uh, since that happened, it's been much easier to talk to people about it. So I feel like there's a a growing demand for privacy that people are starting to really figure out. Absolutely. Now, that's a, that's a really, really important point, Chris, you make there, because with increasing surveillance and authoritarianism all over the world, then preserving our freedom by preserving our privacy becomes even more important. Right. I, I've, I've got a bunch of videos that I've made, and I'm going to put together 
uh, a nice video. I've just been delayed because I got sick and then my, my wife ended up getting sick. But uh, yeah, I'll have a very good video that I'm going to put, put together and have online soon where uh, I was going and talking to the truckers in Ottawa and the combination of the other protests that I've been to. Great. And where, so where will people be able to find... Time. Sorry, Chris, where will people be able to find these videos? Uh, YouTube as well as Odyssey. I'm going to try to get them on a few other platforms as well. Okay, well, if you message me on Discord or Mr. Quibbs on Discord, your channel links, and I shall put them in below this video as well. Yeah, sure. So I've been following you for a while too, so Sorry? kudos to what you do. I've been following your channel as well, Crypto. Oh, thank Crypto you. Rich. Thank you. Thank I got you. the Osmo at $1.50 or so because uh, of your recommendation, so thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I'm going to speak to the team privately about doing a bridge over to the Cosmos network. But anyway, moving on, <laughs> moving on. Thank you for that. So, so everybody, thank you so much. Please uh, comment, like, subscribe, follow CCX. Go check out their website. If you're not familiar with this project, go check out the BPSAA projects. And uh, please follow me on Twitter and join my official Telegram announcements channel. And between now and when I see you next, please keep filling your pockets with Conceal Network Profits. This is Crypto Rich and Christopher H and Arcanist and Mr. Quibbs and Tigers and everybody else from the Conceal Network community. All the best. Bye-bye. Bye.